Hi guys, this is Shy with Shy's Cooking Creations. And this is Trey with Growing to Live. Today we're bringing you a collaboration video about mango taste testing. We have two kinds of mangoes that we're going to try here with you today. Um, the first mango we are going to do is called a Kent mango. And then we are also going to try a Manila mango. And if you can notice, it's a yellow mango freckled with green spots. And we have our knife in our plate. So let's dig in. So the first mango we're gonna try is the Kent mango. Check out that color. Nice, deep, orange, faint yellow and perfect ripeness. Let's dig in. My proper way of cutting a mango. Mm. All right, let's try it. <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> Do you like it? It's actually really good. It has a, um, a very faint um, melon, not watermelon, almost a faint honeydew flavor to it, but not quite, with a slight tinge of you can taste the tropical hints. Definitely. But in my opinion, it has a very interesting, if you've ever had pine nuts, there's a slight musky, nutty taste, and that's very, very faint with a slight melon taste, but not as watery as melon. There's more, more flesh. Let's have one more piece. Um, go ahead and give your opinion why I cut it. Um, so my opinion is it's like really good. There's like, it's really sweet. But uh, to me, it almost tastes exactly like a mango. I would definitely recommend that you buy it. Try one more. Mm, I do want to say it is sweet. And the fiber content, you know, the stringiness that you get in mango, it tastes really, um, it's very, very faint. The, the flesh is firm and consistent, and the fiber is very, very faint, almost non-existent at all in this mango. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the next mango. But before we finish, what was this mango called again? So this mango was called the Kent mango. And if you notice, when the Kent mango, oftentimes if you get it in the store, you'll get it, the outside will be very green like this. Um, when they're ripe, they get green, yellow, and you'll get some red flesh on the outside. Um, when they're ripe and you cut it open, it should cut very smooth, like almost like a really soft butter consistency. And it gets really vibrant, sort of light orange, medium orange, and a little bit of yellow. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the Manila mango. And you can buy the Kent mango just at Walmart. Walmart, Smith's, um, oftentimes from local independent stores, Kent's, whatever's in your area, Safeway. Um, you can get these at most local chains and large corporate chains like Walmart, stuff like that. Now, I do want to explain to you very quick, the Manila mango, when I saw this in the store, I was at a local uh, grocery store and it's not the typical American grocery store. It is called Ocean Mart. It's a an Asian oriental market, um, importing goods from, you know, Asian countries, China, Japan, Korea, Malaysia. Um, they also import goods from some of the Pacific Islands. Um, so you get those kind of goods too. But I was, um, as you'll see on my channel, or as you've probably already watched, I did film a video of me sort of taking you around the store with me and showing you some of the produce they have there. And in the video, I did pick out this mango and it's called a Manila mango, um, but we're going to go ahead and cut into this one now. My first time trying it, by the way, your first time too, right? Yes. First time for both of us. Let's hope it's good. It's almost like to me, the inside almost has a yellower outside and then it gets darker in the middle. Very juicy. I hope the camera can pick that up. Very juicy. Go ahead and smell that. Very. It has a um, kind of 
kind of has a green smell to it. This one does not smell the same at all. That one's this one smells more sweet, and that one smells. This one more has a definitely dull. a fruity taste to it, but it also has a green sort of um, guava smell to it. As I was cutting it, you can see all the juice building up on top. And the flesh is a little bit darker. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. The manila mango, the flesh is a tiny bit darker, more, um, definitely more orange, less yellow, and it's juicier too. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, I have cut it, cut it the same way into little cubes and for easy access. We're gonna dig in right now. You can see that, same size. Very soft. I think that one is just a tad bit overripe. Very soft, very, very soft. Almost melts in your mouth. Um, definitely no fiber at all in the manila mango. It's sweet, but it's hard to pinpoint because it doesn't have the slight tankiness that the Kent mango had. Um, I'm trying to describe, how would you describe it? To me, it doesn't taste anything at all like a mango, like the, or the Kent mango actually tasted more of like a mango. To me, this tastes like some other melon, like almost like a cantaloupe. Kind so of you think this one like. kind of has a cantaloupe taste? Yeah, definitely. This one is sweet, but it, it's a different, a more subtle sweet. It smells sweeter, but it has a more subtle sweet, so it's not quite as sweet as the Kent Mango, but it is still sweet. Let's try one more. And you can definitely tell when you hold the two different mangoes together, the Kent Mango actually looks really dry, and the Manila Mango looks very, very the juicy. The Manila Mango is very juicy. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. Very soft. It does melt in your mouth, very juicy when you first taste it. It's super sweet up front, and as the aftertaste kind of floods your palate, it the flavor immediately goes from sweet to a very mild, like a very mild aftertaste. So you can taste the sweetness up front, and then it goes to almost like a cantaloupe or a melon, like a like a lightly sweetened honeydew melon. Um, there's a little bit of that sort of green, green fruit taste to it. That's very hard <coughs> to point out. But if you get, if you get a fruit like a guava um, or some mangoes, like a Kent mango, if the Kent mango was maybe a little less ripe <laughs> with some, some of the tart taken out of it, you would have basically a taste of a manila mango. It's good enough that I would buy it again but the manila mango is probably a mango I would prefer to eat, probably in a smoothie or in a shake or mixed with something else. I mean, if I was to compare, so let's do a comparison of the two real quick. So go ahead and hold that. So of the two, manila mango and Kent mango. You can definitely see the different colors in it and like the more. So we'll start by the look. The outside, the, the Kent mango is larger round, more round, has a larger seed. You can't see the seed, but it's a larger seed. Um, obviously the green, yellow, and red outside. Whereas the manila mango, a smaller seed, it's sort of a longer and skinnier mango, a uh, yellow with flecks of green, kind of an interesting color. Flesh-wise, the camp mango, um, the one Shy is holding, has a lighter, kind of a yellow-orange, colored flesh, whereas this one is a darker, straight orange colored flesh. And if you look on the bottom, it's more of like a red and then it fades to a green color, whereas that one is splotched, almost like paint everywhere. So if you were to choose the Camp Mango or the Manila Mango, which one would you prefer? I would definitely prefer the Camp Mango. It has lots more flavor, more tartness, you could say. The manila mango, it's good. I would, again, try in like a smoothie or something. Little, 
soft. I would like it to be a little bit harder. Yeah, I think we got um, it a little overripe, so we'll keep an eye out on that next time. Um, it, as far as my yeah. opinion goes, I think I would go with the Kent Mango too. We'll be trying more mangoes in the future, but the Kent Mango would probably be my choice. I mean, it has a tiny bit more fiber, but you, it's not the stringy fiber. It's just more of a firm f uh, flesh versus the flesh of the Manila, which is very soft. Like I said, it's a little overripe, I think, but flavor-wise, I prefer the Kent, even though it's a little more tangy, in my opinion. It's still sweet enough and has that tropical flavor to it. Um, that's it for today. Keep an eye out in the future for more collaborations. If you subscribe to my channel, Growing to Live, you'll be seeing this video there. Um, I also recommend to check out Shai's channel, Shai's Cooking Creations, and you'll be posting the video there too, right? Yes, we will do like a lot of healthy foods, um, desserts, variety of things like drinks, smoothies, different things. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in and keep an eye out for the future videos. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with uh, your friends and your family. Thank you. And try these mangoes. Yes, definitely try these mangoes.